What is the difference between TS, TRS, and TRRS cables? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know so that you can plug your things into your other things. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And before you can do that, you need to know how to plug in your microphones, your audio interfaces, your mixers and all of your other devices. So in this one, we're going to break down the three main types of cables that you're going to come across in home and mobile recording. Let's go. Didn't I already say let's go? So let's start with the most basic type of cable, which is called a TS, which stands for tip and sleeve. So these are unbalanced mono cables, meaning that they send a mono signal, just one channel of audio, and they have a ground as well as that one channel, which is why they've got the tip and the sleeve. Now, these are instrument or guitar cables. This one here is. You can also get speaker cables, but don't confuse the two because these are shielded and these speaker cables are not shielded. If you plug one into the other, it's not gonna have great results may not work or it may cause some damage. So don't do that. Use the right cable for the right thing. Now this is a quarter inch or a 6.35 millimeter plug, but all of these cables also come in 3.5 millimeter varieties, which is also known as eighth inch. So that is your TS mono unbalanced cable. The next type of cable we have is this one, a TRS, which stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. Now, these ones have two different purposes. In their mono form, they are a balanced cable, which means that they send a positive signal and a negative signal, as well as the ground. And that just gives you better audio clarity. There's a much better explanation of balanced versus unbalanced, which perhaps we'll cover in a future video. But if you can use a balanced cable, a TRS cable, then you will wanna go for that. But there's another way that we can use a TRS cable. And that is something like this, a headphone adapter. So again, we've got the TRS, tip ring sleeve, but this time it's actually sending stereo audio. So we've got the ground, then we've got the left and the right channel. And these are very common used for headphones as well as sending audio signals from mixers and interfaces and the like. And there's our 6.35 or quarter inch. And then there is our eighth inch equivalent. So our 3.5 millimeter version is there again, tip, ring, and sleeve. So our TRS cable can be either used for mono balanced or for stereo unbalanced signals. Now to help explain where you would practically use TS versus TRS in the home studio, I've got my Steinberg UR44 interface here. Now these first two input channels here are TS. They actually say on here high Z. So anytime you see instrument or high Z, high Z, that's expecting a TS connection, an instrument level connection. Whereas these next two here actually say line. So they are our line level signals. So they are expecting a TRS, a balanced mono connection or two balanced mono connections if we had a stereo pair. If we flip around to the back, all of our in audio inputs and outputs here are line level. It says up on the top here, they're all line level. And that's what you'll find on most mixers and interfaces, especially high quality ones, they'll have balanced inputs and outputs. So when you're sending the signal to your monitor speakers, you wanna use a balanced TRS cable. If you just use the TS cable, you're not gonna get very good quality or it may not work at all depending on the setup. But that is the practical way that you're gonna use TS and TRS in your home studio. And finally, we have our TRRS. So this stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. And yes, we've got four sections. You can only barely see that because this is a little three and a half mil jack. Now these are used for sending stereo audio, but also a microphone signal the other way. So that's why they got the four, they often called a four pole connector. And these are very common in pretty much all of your smartphones, your tablets, iPads, iPhones, and a lot of laptops these days have these sort of plug connections. So this means that you can use something like this that has headphones and a microphone built into it, plug it in and you're good to go. Now, the, the trap there is that if you're trying to plug in a microphone that uses a TS or a TRS connection, you're going to need an adapter. So a TRRS to TRS adapter. There's a couple that I recommend. There's one that comes with an Audio-Technica microphone and also one that Rode make. And both of those will be linked down in the description. 
Now the one cable type we didn't mention in this video is this one, an XLR. So these are commonly used for microphones, but also for sending audio between different devices. And the reason I have this cable here is that this is a TRS to XLR because the way these work is actually quite similar. So an XLR has three pins, just like we have the three different sections on a TRS cable. And once again, you've got a balanced signal. So you've got the positive, the negative, and the ground, and that is gonna create a balanced connection. So your XLR is very similar to your TRS cable and therefore it can be used for those high quality audio connections. So there you go, I hope this helps simplify these cable types and you now know that TS is your unbalanced mono cable, TRS is your balanced mono or your unbalanced stereo cable and TRRS is your stereo cable with your microphone. Now there's some links down in the description if you do need to pick up some new cables or those adapters that I talked about before. There's also two videos linked down below if you wanna check out some more information. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.